it was a historic day at the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville as Ringo Starr became the first solo drummer to be inducted. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael was there as the former Beatle took the stage. How do I feel by the end of the day? I'm sad because you're on the road. No in a city full of musicians, most will tell you he changed the beat of music history. I mean, the Beatles were a part of the whole change in how music was played, heard, recorded. The stage was set at the Musicians Hall of Fame. He's one of the greatest drummers of all time. To honor a music legend. Please welcome Ringo Starr. With a little help from his friends like Peter Frampton. We met in 19... <laughs> and Brenda Lee. When I was young and in my rocking years, the Beatles opened for me at the Star Club in Hamburg, Germany. Well, I bet you gonna be a big star. Ringo Starr was inducted into the Hall of Fame and received the first ever Joe Chambers Musician's Legacy Award. I don't know if Nashville is still famous for the numbers. One was it, okay, make the one a five. <laughs> I can't get used. The ceremony included performances of some of his greatest hits. My tears I cried for you. Ringo recalled discovering Music City in the 70s after some persuasion by producer Pete Drake. I sent my car for him at Heathrow Airport and it had a lot of tapes, cassettes in those days, of country artists and he said, hey horse, I see you like country music. And it, we went on from then, I ended up here and we made a record. Great drummers are born, they're not made. And from the moment Ringo picked up the sticks, he was destined for an honor like this. So what is the secret to his famous groove? Well, I'm afraid I'm the only Ringo who gets the Ringo snare. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. His steady backbeat and legendary career now forever memorialized in the Hall of Fame. And with that, I send you all peace and love. Thanks for coming. See you at the Ryman. <laughs> Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Certainly well deserved, Olivia. Thank you. And of course, the day culminated with a performance by Ringo at the Ryman Auditorium.